Hey, Miles Beckler here. This video is the continuation of how to scrub your AWeber list video. If you missed the first part, go ahead and click the link in the description below. I'll link you over to the first video in scrubbing your list where we talk about the basics of why you want to scrub your list. There is a possibility you're spending a lot of money on unsubscribes and people who are unengaged and there's no sense spending money to have them on your list. So we've covered like the bait, we're getting into how to remove them from your list. I'm gonna introduce you to a new tool in this video called AW Pro Tools, and I'm gonna show you three different ways that I use this to save me time and to keep my lists kind of um, really targeted and really focused. So the messaging matches the customer desires that much better, which means all of my marketing works and, and that means more revenue, more customers, et cetera, et cetera. So what is the tool? It's AW Pro Tools. Let me get myself out of the way and let's go inside of AW Pro Tools dashboard here. So AW Pro Tools is an add-on to AWeber. It ties into AWeber, and if you're using something like ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign, uh, a lot of the functionalities are already built into those systems. AWeber is one of the simpler email management systems, um, but this tool over top of it really kind of adds a powerful kind of add-on to it. So there's three ways that I use it. The first one is to delete the unsubscribers automatically. Now, if you only have a few hundred people on your list and you're getting five, 10 unsubscribes a week, uh, just do it manually. I showed you how to do that in the last one, but uh, we just come here in AW Pro Tools. You click on the, auto, um, on the list management and literally you can see all of the different cleanups I've got going here and you just click create a new cleanup instruction. It asks you what list you want to clean up and that's it. It automatically deletes them. And one of the other cool things that it does is inside of the list management, you can actually access all of the unsubscribes that it deletes. So you can download it here and you can actually add these people as a segment or excuse me, a custom audience inside of Facebook. So it's a neat little CSV. So people who took a specific action but unsubscribed, they're still more relevant than kind of the default settings in Facebook pay-per-click. So I do use these to create custom audiences. So that's really one. And this comes in handy when you've got, you know, tens of thousands of subscribers on your list because the process of uh, manually deleting a thousand unsubscribes that'll save you eight, 10 bucks a month is, is kind of annoying at best. Um, so the next thing that it does is it, you're able to move a subscriber on a click and this is their add a link system, right? So essentially what we can do, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to go into AWeber real quick to show you why I use this. Um, and you can see, so AWeber just moved my re-engagement cam, my re-engagement um, from the last video, my re-engagement segment, excuse me. Um, so in the last video, we stopped with them moving it. So that move has completed. They've moved 15,000 people to this re-engagement list, right? So they're here on this list. And ultimately, my broadcast list is the list that my wife and I mail almost every single day. So what I want to do, these re-engagement people are people from this list who have not opened an email in three months and who have been on the list for over three months. So they're unengaged, right? And what I wanna do is give it a, give them a chance to re-engage them before deleting them because they might be interested in our content still. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a link that will take them to a specific blog post on my website. If they click the link in the email, it will automatically, and it being AW Pro Tools, AW Pro Tools will automatically remove them from this list. They will become an unsubscriber on this list and it will add them to this list. So what I can do is I can track everyone who opens an email and clicks on the link will actually end up on my broadcast list, which is what I want. I send about five or six emails over the course of a month trying to get them to open and click. After a month and five or six emails, if they still have not clicked and taken the action, I just delete this entire segment. Um, I delete them all from the list. This is somewhere around, I think, $120 per month just to have these people on my list with the size of the list we have. So how do we technically do that? Easy. We go into AW Pro Tools. We create, add a link, and we give it a name. So this will be re-engagement1. And the destination URL, this is going to be a site, uh, a link on our website. So I'll just kind of say, um, you know, just one of these that already pre-populates. So ultimately, when they click the link in the email, this is where they're gonna get redirected. On the next step, 
I go ahead and I choose what list are they coming from and they're on my re-engagement list and I go to the next step and it wants to know what am I going to do I'm going to move them to a new list and it wants to know what list I want to move them to um, the screen looks a little goofy and that's that's specifically because I've got it um, resized for the video here but it, it does look fine when it's full width here so I want to move them to the broadcast list and click next and I'll hide the guides and this is essentially telling me that it does have the ability to add them to two lists or take two actions which I don't want and ultimately it's going to generate this list for me here excuse me this smart link here so what it does is this is a Weber's short code for the user's email and this is inside of this kind of link AW Pro Tools has two bits of information number one is the destination of where they end up which is a blog post or something on your website number two is the code to remove them from my re-engagement list and add them to my broadcast list one when they click this link so it's brilliant another way you can use this that is absolutely magic is segmenting your list so let's say you have a list about how to make money online and you talk about different ways and types of, of money making opportunities and then you have a, a drop shipping right you have a, an email about a drop shipping system that you heard about and if they click the link in that email and they go to the blog post to read more about drop shipping you can move that subscriber to a drop shipping list where you follow up with more information about drop shipping because you know that they're interested in drop shipping because they clicked on the link in the email about drop shipping so this is a way that you can segment your list inside of um, inside of a Weber which is something they don't kind of have a default thing which is a little bit challenging the third way I use AW Pro Tools is under automation robots and essentially what, what we do here is I move people from one list to another list when they get to the end of a of a follow-up series so for example in my main list the way I've got my Aweber set up here is new subscribers will enter through this list when someone clicks on my ad in Facebook and joins my list and opts in for my free thing they go on to this list here and then they get an automated follow-up sequence at the end of the follow-up sequence I automatically through this exact tool right here this automation robot I move them from this list to this list and it unsubscribes them from this list it puts them on this list and then it deletes them as an unsubscriber for me so why do I do this it's a great question and it's because I don't want to broadcast people who are in a follow-up sequence right this follow-up sequence is pre-designed I've been testing it and working with it for years and it gets a lot of opens it gets a lot of engagements and it offers them a few products I don't want to distract them from this series of emails that I've created so I let them go through the process and then I move them onto this broadcast list with that robot and then I'm just broadcasting this list and another thing I've done is I make sure these emails these follow-up emails do not go out over the weekend so I can email both lists with an offer on the weekends so I know weekends are a safe time to email this list and this list but during the week I'm only emailing this list with the new updates uh, rarely I will send this list a second email in a day because ultimately you know I don't want them to get two emails in a day we email almost every single day and I just don't feel the need for them to get two emails in a single day so that's really it to be honest I'm not using everything that AW Pro Tools has to offer uh, that's it, there's it is a very kind of uh, powerful and complex system but the way I have been using it for me it's it's really it works really well for us um, I'm really happy with what we've done and what we've created another thing that he has in here that's kind of interesting is he's got some expert interviews and he's you know the guy who built this is he knows a lot of the big wigs and the big time people in um, internet marketing and I've gotten a lot of value actually out of listening to these expert interviews a lot of times when they tack on bonuses people tack on bonuses they're not that high of quality but since he has such good relationships with so many really smart people in the internet marketing world um, his expert interviews are actually quite fantastic I've enjoyed listening to those so that's it really um, if you're on a Weber if you're building a list with a Weber you're gonna need to add some 
some some technology and some automation to it and this aw pro tools is absolutely the way to go and that's how i run my lists and that's how i keep my lists squeaky clean i'm miles beckler if you're interested in getting more videos from me as they're released go ahead and click on the subscribe button if you have any questions about what i covered here leave me a comment i'm happy to answer your questions and uh, give me a thumbs up here if you like the video on youtube i'm happy to keep putting these out if you're enjoying them so thanks for your time i'm miles beckler have a great day